What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, hi, I'm Haley, and I'm so happy you're stopping by today's video. I hope you'll stick around and subscribe. On my channel, I love sharing tons of cleaning motivation, mom motivation, and all things homemaking and decorating videos. And in today's video, we are just going to be doing a quick tidy up, quick cleaning motivation. So I hope you're ready to either get up and clean with me, or watch, get that motivation, and then after you can tackle something in your own home. I am just quickly getting the house tidied during Waverly's nap so that way we can have a nice, fresh, clean slate for when she wakes up and she can play and do all the things. We're first starting out with this little TV stand, getting it nice and cleaned, just using my method. I think it's the grapefruit uh, scent. Now, I don't really want to spend too much time dusting because... I'm kind of over my decorations. This week I've decided that I'm over them so I can about guarantee like a day or two after Christmas they're going to be gone um, which is fine and I'm okay with that but I decided to add some Christmas music in today's video just because we only have like a week or so left of Christmas so why not add in some Christmas music. So we're just going to go ahead and do a light tidy up. I just wanted to vacuum the couches and just do a light dusting of everything and wipe surfaces down. Nothing crazy. I got the living room all nice and clean and I'm going to show you my bag from mom inside. Thank you so much for gifting this bag. I absolutely am in love with this new diaper bag. I've been actually looking for one for a while and this ended up being perfect timing. It came in a nice duster bag. It is super high quality, especially for the price. But Mom Inside is a brand where a mom wanted a cute stylish bag, but she also wanted it to be functional. So on the inside, you see all of the functional pieces of the diaper bag. It comes with a nice strap that you can just carry it. It comes with a changing pad, which snaps and is compact. So it doesn't take up a ton of space in your diaper bag, which I love. It also comes with these little straps that you can wear as a backpack, which I will mainly use that for having hands free diaper bag is so important especially when you're chasing after a toddler but there is so much room in this diaper bag i packed it with you guys and there is way more room than what i have inside i love all the compartments it just can help you stay organized you're gonna see how it all looks but overall i am so impressed with this diaper bag and i'm also super excited because mom inside wanted to do a giveaway in today's video i'm going to be sure to have all of the giveaway details down in the description there will be one lucky winner who will be able to choose any bag from mom inside's store the giveaway details include that you must be following mom inside on either instagram or youtube for an additional entry you can follow them on both 
Make sure to leave a comment tagging a mom friend and every additional mom friend will get you an extra entry. Make sure you like the video. Be sure that you're subscribed to my channel, Simply Haley. This giveaway is only in the US and Canada and it will run from today's date, December 15th, 2023 to December 22nd, 2023, and I will announce the winners on December 23rd, 2023. I will announce it on my community tab, and I will also reply to your comment letting you know that you won and how you can receive your bag next. I hope you guys will enter, and good luck to everyone. I'll have a link in the description where you can look at this style of backpack and all of the other styles that Mom Inside has. There is so many to choose from and it was so hard to choose just one, but I absolutely love the one that I chose. It is super functional and high quality and I'm super excited about it. Thanks again for Mom Inside for gifting me this diaper bag. Okay, I just want to go through my little mom inside diaper bag really quick and how I have everything organized. I currently don't have anything on the inside of this. I will probably just put like my keys or um, phone and then when we go to work, I bring Waverly's phone that it plays her music. So I'll probably have that. I don't have anything in this pocket, but I love how deep all of the pockets are. They go to the very bottom. It's so nice. And I love the two cup holders. I'll always stick like Waverly's bottle, water bottle and mine in there. And as for the inside, in these two main compartments, I have diapers and wipes. And then in this back pocket, I have my chapstick, tissues, um, pads, stuff like that. And then in this front pocket right here, I have Waverly's extra change of clothes and I like that it's right there, it won't get lost. Um, and we'll see, I might rearrange stuff as I start to use it more. You know, it's kind of hard to know until you start using it. I have the changing pad at the very bottom um, because for the most part, we're not changing Waverly in public places. We're usually somewhere where we're at like my parents' house or somewhere else, so we don't necessarily need that. But if we do, it's in the bottom. And then I also have um, a few toys for Waverly. We don't keep too many in here. I just have a Barbie and a baby and then like one of these little writing pads. And then I don't have anything on this left side, um, but I could fit more snacks, toys. I could even probably stick some of her Barbies in the little insulated compartments. And then I just have her in this pocket, her snacks um, container, and then in the other pocket, I have her granola bars and raisins. I'll show you like an overview from the top, but overall, I really like the looks of it. I love how spacious it is, and I could fit way more in here.
had quite the mess on the table. It was just like a whole bunch of Christmas items. I had wrapped a few presents for Trajan because I didn't want him to know what they were. And then they were big enough that I didn't know what to do with them, but I just hid them along the wall. So we really shouldn't be able to touch them. And then I went ahead and added our little wrapping paper bag to the back wall too, just because we are going to be wrapping presents for the next week and a half. Um, so I wanted to get that taken care of. And then this bag had just like boxes, tape, random lights. So I wanted to kind of look at it, see what I had. And I was going to stick it in something else, but I didn't have a big enough container. So after Christmas, I will go ahead and get a container that I can put like that kind of wrapping stuff in just so it's organized. But for now, it's going back into this ripped bag and it will just... It will actually supposed to go in Waverly's room, but where we're wrapping so much and we're actually wrapping presents for her when she's sleeping, I'm just going to keep it in our room so that way we can use it whenever we need to. But I just got done wiping off the table. I'm fixing the ribbon on the tree because Waverly had ripped it off and the ribbon at this point on that tree, I'm just ready to take it off. Waverly has touched it enough times and she actually, today I was folding laundry and just threw the pile of clothes on the tree and I just looked at her and I was like what are you thinking why did you think that was a good idea so yeah I'm just ready for the ribbon to at least be off that tree I might just take off the ribbon before Christmas we'll kind of see how I'm feeling but I'm going ahead and just tidying up the kitchen like I said I wasn't doing any major deep cleaning just wanted to get the house nice and tidied up Let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Okay, we're just finishing unloading this dishwasher and then we'll load it back up and if you've been watching my videos for a while you know our dishwasher has kind of been weird lately where it isn't really cleaning our dishes very well and i basically have to hand wash them before 
putting them in and there was a few dishes that I guess I hadn't done that so they didn't get cleaned but I have cleaned the filter I have like ran a cycle with nothing in it I don't know what it is and why it's not working I don't know if we just need to have somebody come like look at it or something I know they sell like the I think it's the Afresh brand where you can put them in there and maybe that would help is there a product I can buy I mean I'm fine with like rinsing and hand washing them but I've never really had to do that with this dishwasher but just recently I've had to and I'm like okay but I just feel like then there's something probably wrong with it I don't know you'll have to let me know I got done cleaning I decided to throw in some taco soup into the crock pot I just added in my frozen ground beef added a can of diced tomatoes a can of diced tomatoes with green chili a can of water and then a can of corn red kidney beans black beans and pinto beans salt and pepper and then a little bit more like about three-fourths of a uh, pack of taco seasoning and then I put that on high for four hours and then the last hour I actually turned it to low because it was fully cooked pretty much. I just wanted to make sure. And then now that Waverly was up, I did go ahead and vacuum. I didn't want to wake her up, but that's going to wrap up today's video. Thank you guys all so much for being here and hanging out with me and staying till the very end of the video. If you enjoyed today's video, please give the video a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and don't forget to enter that giveaway and good luck. And I will see you guys in my very next video. Bye you guys.